also uh, Sven, who have been playing a little bit as well. Marin is uh -oh. very overextended. Yes, he is, and he's going to get trapped. Next mission right in the Meganar form. The stun will take him out. So Marin, Marin, he's on for a bit of a gank on the mid lane, one would assume. They want to shut down the Rune Glaivez, and they don't see this coming. Flash going to be coming in, and oh, there we go. There's the stun frozen. He's just going to be locked up and destroyed. Great gank. It's a really nice rotation by Tom's trying to steal red. He's going to get it too, but there is Nara on the bottom side, and this is so Tom right now. Has to flash over. He is going to uh, chrono break back around. There's the hop. Expression tries to hit him with the boulder, and Frozen will pick up double buff. Spooky in trouble in the river, though, as he got isolated. He did have to flash that wall. The biggest comeback wins. What are we seeing on the map? Uh, we're seeing a dive right now. Easy is going to come through. There's the twist advance. Spooky there to respond, but Frozen is dead to Tom as the phase dive will finish off the kill. Tom and Easy can put out in the burst from the burst from mid lane. It's going to be difficult to get this Ezreal through the laning phase, especially a lot more difficult than last time as Marin's going to get on top, but Ignar misses the Winter's by hand. There's the Glacial Fissure, and there's the damage from the Tristana E. Marin trying to live. He will not, cannot get back to his turn in time. About KT Rolster yesterday. It's about playing around your face of powers. Ignar's taking a lot of burst as well. Looks like there's going to be a Dragon Contest. Yeah, and there's no TP for Marin here. Remember that, but there's the Agony's Embrace. SKT trying to bottle him up in the big. Gravity Field already down. There's the Chaos Storm used afterwards. They're going to get a kill. Chrono Break will save Tom, so they take a kill in return for the Dragon. Top laners, looks oh like Bang and Wolf actually just going to go for a Baron right now, trying to sneak it out. Everybody recalled now. They're going to see it with the True Shot Barrage, but can they get to it in time? Looks like the answer is nope. nope. It's going to be close, though. There could be a fight. Monsoon burned at the beginning just for a heal. It's going to be a close one. 1,600 HP, and they are... Not, they are going to get it. Oh, no, it's stolen. Spooky got in there and took it at the last second. Tom didn't use his smite. Now Marin low. Double kill for Bang, though. Starting to move through the enemy team. Frozen gets the other side of the wall. Flash onto Frozen. Roar is there with the summoner heal. Now Bang trying to kite this out. Explosive shot. It's not going to be enough. Double kill for Roar. Here come the resets. Can he keep going, Tom? Parallel convergence. Oh. Easy Hood will destroy him. Still had the Chaos Storm. And can they get out? The gravity field is barely going to be enough. And Frozen will hit the Q. And one it's more the true shot barrage. No, Wolf will dodge. We're still not done. Will the bounce over the minions come to? No, just off cooldown. Gonna go for it anyway. Parallel convergence, stun. But no, that's gonna be a flash for Tom. He gets out. Nahar will die to the tower. Is this going to be a fight for SKT? Uh, Bard is on the flank, but they see him right now. And they're going to go for it. And no, that will be taken by Ezreal, actually. Now the fight erupting after that. Roar and Frozen untouched in the back line right now. Spooky trying to run interference in the front, but they're all getting very low. Expression gets an ult off, but Bang gets into the pit. Expression still zoning well. Ignar will fall to Easy Hoon. Spooky already dead, but everyone else so low. Can IM turn this around right now? Trying to, yep, there's the ping onto that ward. They set up the teleport. They're going to come on through. They want to come through right by the Wraith Brush. Now they know he's there. He's going to smash Roar out of the air and then twist and advance him. Roar stuck, but can they actually pull this through? Marn is huge. Marn is on top of Roar right now. Tom gets back onto Frozen, but he's the first one to die in this fight. Roar goes down right after him, and bang, now on the outside. Can't quite kill Expression. Expression low. Hex Drinker has been popped. There is Spooky. Flash, Monsoon, Ignar trying to block some of this damage. Gets the concussive blows down on to Bang. Easy Hoon's already dead. Marin's back in the fight right now. Marin gets onto Frozen, and there we go. There are the procs. Bang, very, very low, but he stays alive for the double kill. Life Steal tanking it out, and that is going to be an ace. Wow, Marin was so huge in that fight. Hit the Arcane Smash on the rocket jump, immediate twisted advance, and then coming back around to lock up Frozen. That is exactly how Marin had to outplay I am to win this game. Outplay is the right word, Monte Cristo. The mechanical outplay is required by SKT in a 3v4. Remember, two members, Easy Hoon and Tom, died instantly. Raw was down for 
I am, but crucially, Frozen missed all of the Ezreal damage, and Bang stayed alive, much like uh, much like KT's arrow did yesterday. Put out the damage. They might not be able to finish just yet, but they're going to try. Well, they're at least going to leave an open nexus. I don't think they can do much more than that. That's about as far as they can go. He's up oh, with no, they're going to go for it. A little bit bold. Marin is low. Roar is up. Oh, they're going to get it right there. Enough damage from Bang with the help of that additional attack damage from Wolf on the Eye of the Storm. Marin now looking to bully Expression some more underneath his turret. You can see him hovering there on the outside. Bengi is here. They want to die. Marin is not six. And there you go. Flash forward. And he will pick up the kill on the overheat. Great heat management there for oh. Marin. Back into lane. Let's give them a window for the dragon, although crucially won't have the equalizer. Bengi's not in here. Here we go, and are we going to see the TP? Ignar is knocked back out by the explosive gas. He is dead as he gets condemned into the wall afterwards. Nice play by Bengi and Bang. Mattered that much. Oh boy. And Wolf coming around from the side. Roar, and there is that combo. CC into CC. Ignar going to hit the hook, though. Wolf getting quite low. Wolf back in turret range, but he's still got that unbreakable on. And here comes Bengi. Uh, we're, are we going to see this dive? TP now coming in. Equalizer not quite up yet. And there's the cooking from the backside of the turret. Marin just boxing him in. And there's the condemned kill from SKT. One scenario, and especially the Olaf here, who has gotten the hex drink, or bang, may have a bit of an advantage. And now Marin just going in on expression. No mana at all, so there's no counterplay here. Of course, the E no longer has a mana cost, but it doesn't really matter. Nice sidesteps from expression. There's just nothing you can do. Wow, just drilling him straight into the ground. Low invades. Wolf taking a bit of damage. Spooky's here as well. They're going to draw in a teleport as well. This is 4v2. Yeah, there it is. Wolf almost certainly going to die here, but at least he will go down alone. Frozen collapses to the bottom side, but it will be Rumble getting a turret in return. Kite through the enemy jungle very happily. We're seeing some, a lot of trading in bottom. Can Bang stay alive? It looks like he might even win this right. He's not done. Is he going to 1v2 right here? He pops his ultimate. He is getting those invisibility. Now he's going oh. to get hooked. No, barely loses out. Has to use that summoner heal, but still goes down. Impressive, though, that he was able to hold on for that log. 1v1, that's definitely Vayne's purview. TP, was TP coming in. Too. Marin's TP is just back up right now. Wolf wants the backside, and there's Marin. Pops out of the brush. Equalizer goes down. Wolf tries to zone out Roar on the outside. Here comes Marin. A couple autos, and that's going to be it. Double kill for Rumble. And look at that. The hero with that lantern. Chaos Storm used. But not going to get much. However, Roar has to Valk over the wall. Nope, just going to flash forward. Marin says goodbye. Drill to the face. And that's the end of Earth. Maybe this will finally be the other turret. Oh, the bang and oh, oh, geez. And here's the carries coming around. Everyone just cut off from escape. Frozen has to flash immediately. Bang. Thinking again, but he's still going to go through. They've got the wall coming in. No Chaos Storm, remember, for Easy Hoon. He's got a little bit of damage right there, though. They're trying to turn it. Gravity Field laid down. Pulverize comes through, and there is Bang. He's in the pit. He's going to flash forward for the kill onto Frozen. Easy Hoon's still there. They want Expression. They're going to get him eventually. There's just not enough damage to stop the vein. Up oh, there's the Blade of the Rune King forcing out the Ragnarok, but Expression's still very slow. Expression, no. Righteous Glory, like you said, no ghost in that fight. And now Spooky going to get knocked around. Explosive Cask. Teleport. The teleport coming in. They wanted to go in. They get banged, but at what cost? Nice dodge onto the oh. ultimate from Cassiopeia, laying down the equalizer. Ignar, the first to fall on IM. Especially not even full HP coming into this fight. Marin just gets on top of Roar. Nearly kills Frozen with one harpoon. Easy Hoon here. Marin gets low, double kill for the Rumble. And here we go, walking up Easy Hoon is just body blocking, triple. We don't have a blue buff on Cassio either. We're gonna see the engage from Bengi oh, though. Goodbye Frozen, instantly destroyed by Vayne and by Victor. There's the Blade of the Ruined King. Bank stopped up there by a death sentence from Ignar, but how far are they going to go with this? They don't have to. Trying to get back into control of this Baron. Expression is all alone with no Ragnarok and no Ghost, and that is a dead Viking.
He will go to join his answer. Maybe Rolf can help him out some Valkyries, but... Okay, there we go. Uh, Frozen coming in, actually, with an ultimate. They are actually going to take down Marin. Baron still not killed. No heroic steal this time from Spooky. Bengi will land. That smite. Frozen gets knocked around inside of the choke point. We see Marin on a carry top laner. He's absolutely dominated this game. Wolf is going to get grabbed right there. Has to pop his ultimate, but Bang is here. Bang is doing an insane amount of damage to Expansion, and that's going to be it. Dodges the undertow with a tumble at the end. Oh Ignar boy. here, Blade of the Ruin King proc. Spooky has to come through to zone out Bang. Wolf with the teleport, and now SK Telecom looking for that big, oh, nice condemn right into the inhib. That's going to be into Spooky. Wolf comes in, explosive cast. Ignar gets. A hook onto Bengi, but still dies thanks to Easy Hoon's burst. 17,000 is the gold lead. Baron buff minions pushing in. They don't have the best turret damage. They don't have that Lich Bane. It's still just Bane, but with two members dead, SKT gonna look to try and finish here. Yeah, Frozen has to come up huge. He only gets one with the Petrifying Gaze. That's not going to be enough to stop this pressure. Roar getting destroyed by Easy Hoon. And no equalizer kill there. Unfortunately for Marin, but that is going to be the end of this game at sub 30 minutes. A dominating win by SK Telecom T1 in game two. Bang showing up on the vein, but holy hell, Marin looks good. And the shot calling with Bengi in the lineup looked so much more short, so much. I 4v1, Trace is only level two. Buy a couple of stacks of the wind to buy it. Goodbye, Trace. Yep. Goodbye. First blood for the Sibber and Ooh. barely gets out. Head far cry away from the ribbon that does well in the matchup. Catch is actually caught himself. Nice little burst from Chaser. Move some of that dragon threat. Right, there's a nice condemn. Secret pops the unbreakable, stops a little bit of that damage, and he slows up. Oh, pilot going a bit nuts. Ooh! Dies, Sweet gets the Ignite kill. Nicely played by Jin Air. CS lead is growing in top lane. And here Flash we go. Bow. Secret has no Flash right now. He's gonna bounce around, actually. Condemn doesn't hit, catch there. There's the ultimate, it's coming through. And TPs from both top laners. Trace has his, does not have his equalizer, actually. Had to use it previously. So actually, it gets turned around onto... They know where to be on the map to impact this nearly, whether we're talking about kill pressure or putting down towers in the bottom lane. And here we go. There's the teleport coming through. Prey Seeker already on the backside. Nuclear is going to get low, but he's not going to die, except when the Equalizer comes in. Chaser locked up underneath the turret, but Secret is falling too as the chair. Everyone except Maokai. So the base damage is there. He's going to draw the teleport, but it's quite late again. Way too late, terrible positioning. There we go, flash pulled, and guess who's in the front line? It will be Secret, and he is the first to fall here. Soar has to flash, but there is a tunnel on Burrow. Soar just locked up, tries to turn around with the Twisted Advance, now gets Wild Growth. That's not who you want a Wild Growth. And there we go, another kill for Jyn Air. They can just turn on to Baron, maybe. So Dragon back up, Dragon has the position from Jin Air already. Saucin around the side, they're picking him out though. Now they're gonna go for a little bit of a 50-50. Bane gonna get it, now there's the immediate engage. Huge equalizer onto the back line, and there is really not a whole lot that they're gonna be able to do. Soar gets locked up in a gravity field, but there's just too much persistent damage. And this is Svenu having to back off. Chaser comes back in. They are on the run right now, but there's the Chaos Storm. Trace passes forward, but he gets a flash out of Sivir too. And Jin Air's pilot, Grabs the kill onto the Maokai, three for none. Engage coming through from Jin Air, so they're relatively free to just sit in these lanes, but when they start to come to the chokes. Oh, and there you go, Condemned lands, and the TP not going to do much. Soar is there, but he's just a target for Vayne. Has to get onto Chaser, but Chaser a tanky target that's not going to do much when he twists and advances onto it. Squeeze is still walking forward, even though he's a cat, misses his Pulverize. And here comes GBM, they split up a little bit, catch on the run, and. Do they see him? They do. They pinged him right there. Are they going to go in all in anyway? There's another flash, and Sweet gets in. So there's an equalizer splitting up the carries from the back line. Sausage has to run. Secret so low, but Pilot just tumbling forward so easily to get the kills. No threat whatsoever on Pilot with the Infinity Edge just blowing down members. They have a lot of quick members. You know, Spender can pop the whims, they can pop the ultimate. 
from Siva, the on the hunt, and get away so they can actually get out of Pilot's auto attack range, but they're only going one way towards their base with only multiple, a few members left. So getting burned down, more appropriate Rumble versus Maokai action <laughs> happening off screen. Well, he couldn't prevent any forest fires this game. No nope. Rokey the Bear would be quite sad. Speaking of sad, Sasson's dead. So is Spenu's hopes, and Jin are going to win the game. That's right. Ace will lead to a Jin Air victory 15 to 2 when it comes to kills. Trace will show up for the Nexus Explosion Party with his teleport at the tail end. Nice flash as well. Remember, all summoners and an Alistair for Disengage finally show. Uh, here we go. Flash onto the Alistair. There's the cask onto Secret. Secret is just going to be exploded. He didn't have his ultimate yet. Now they're turning on the nuclear. Is there much damage? Yes, another body slam comes through, and Pilot not going to get that one. Winter's Bite takes it away. Putting in this game, it's. It's interesting, and it, it really shows his character. You don't need to, oh, it's flash, flash, pep up. Yeah, there we go, Chaser hunted out. Sasset is here, can Chaser escape? There's an explosive cast, looks like he will die. And there's a TP in, Equalizer already down, Trace arrives, now GBM's got everybody in a choke though. Can he do something with this? He does have Chaos Storm, but he's not going to use it. Sasson still has the ultimate available. Here it comes. And there it goes. Uh, Sasson trapped in there. Pilot at full HP right now. Trace is going to flash in. They're on top of Sasson. And there's the Chaos Storm finally. Is it a bit late? Kill picked up. The Cathy and Surprise not going to do much. So Spenu making the most of this. Another use of the death ray. Oh, Gravity field right there. Trace not dead. GBM low on mana. And uh, nope, not going to work. Flash death ray. So he falls as well. That was a bit sloppy from Jin Air. They had the opportunity to use the Chaos Storm. They held it too long. If they know they need to keep vision about it. And they're gonna go on to Chaser, but there is no Jarvan there. Here's a TP actually coming in from the backside. TP is going to be meeting right there, but hello, Trace is already on top of Nuclear. And the Equalizer is dropped, but it's really not doing anything right now. Gravity Field ties up Secret, and that is one kill already for Jin Air. Sasson wasn't ready to commit to that. There's the Maelstrom going in one more time. Sasson on the outside, gets on top of Pilot. Pilot has Flash. He doesn't even have to use it as the concussive blows come through. GBM just wrecking alongside Trace, and that's a perfect ace. Double kill for GBM, and that is likely going to be the last chance that, that Spenu has. They tried to go aggressive without their key member, the mid lane Jarvan. What a disaster. The tracking of the Jarvan was wonderful to see from Jeanette. They split threats. Brom is standing next to Kalkmore. Kalkmore's living. Yeah. You don't even have to land a skill shot at that point. Well, they're going to try one more time. Equalizer, just a disengage from the Glacial Fisher. He's also a giant Minotaur. That's true. Sasson's a damage threat, but not to chase, so now he's going to be caught. Uh, and there we go. They're going to get some more auto attacks. He's going to get stunned. Here we go. The tank line is there. Sweet just blocking a lot of shots on the side. Yeah. He's eventually going to go down, trying to get under his tower, but where is the next Twisted Advance? Well, pops his ultimate onto the tanks. That is not going to work. Pilot. Side of pain. And accounting for those picks of secret for super low. Probably going to die even through the Unbreakable Will. Well, Awkward to see. Yeah. Air immediately on it, Trace with an Iron Whoa. Elixir. He is He's a big. huge, huge mega tree. And can he find the angle? Almost certainly he will be able to, depending on where he chooses to TP into. Secret there with the Righteous Glory. Gonna get a nice knock up, but there is no follow up whatsoever. And guess what? Maokai's already here. Secret will die. And the Equalizer just not doing it up. They get a kill on the sweep, though. So that is a nice little bonus for them, but they just. Oh! Nope, that's not going to work. Pilot actually goes down to Corky somehow. Oh, a little bit too far forward. Nuclear still at full HP. Now, are they going to be able to turn this? Nicely done by Spenu. Triple kill onto Nuclear. They didn't find the right targets in the back line. And now, they have to deal with Trace. Trace has a lot of HP still, but Sasin is doing a lot of damage. And looks like Trace is going to fall in the end. However, he did buy time for Victor to get there, so... So hard unless other zone control ultimates come in and actually force one of these summoners down. Trace actually goes oh, aggressive. They're going for it. Nope. Righteous Glory used, but there we go. He's on the pilot already, but there's the flash. So now Jinair can go in. Trace doing a lot of damage. Sasson really doesn't have much. He's just being blocked out on the side. Equalizer comes through. They're on top of Pilot. Can they kill Pilot? They can kill Pilot as Soul gets on top of him. Victor, the only damage left now. And holy cow, is Spenu going to turn this? Yes. They've killed three. 
Chaser is actually going to go down. Sweet, the only one remaining, and they're going to be able to just push through and win this game. 60-second death time as Sassen did his job, got on and absolutely zoned Pilot away from the whole fight. Rek'Sai even picks up the fifth kill. This is a win for Spenu. A shocking comeback from Spenu here as they just pick apart Pilot. Pilot just doesn't have the necessary tools to escape. You gotta wonder about this build a little bit. He only had to stay alive. And they really overcommitted on the flank too and left Pilot alone. They tried to get on to catch and That's going to be a shocking upset for Spenu. And now Sasin giving it back with the dancing in the Nexus. I love it. I love it. So much feeling and what was a Right now, actually, Soul got down to about 50% during that trade, so Trace taking advantage of the Meganar form to get in and get close. And they are going to try to dive, but look at Catch. He's right here. Can they get it done in time? And they're going to go down. Soul is actually just going to fall, or is he? There you get the first blood. Trace will flash out. Catch cannot come through. Looking pretty promising. And here we go, Nuclear does get the Spell Shield down. They force the ultimate out. Chaser is there. Can they follow it up? Yes, they can. Nuclear is going to be dove underneath the turret. Summer Heal not going to be enough. TP's now coming in. There's a big Gnarl, but it's not going to be enough to kill Chaser. However, the Ignite will take him down. Finally, we see Catch coming in, but there's no more damage. They do trade one for one. It's in general have been pretty poor. Highlighted by Pilot being assassinated in the last fight in game two. There's the go button. And Sweet just going to get bursted down immediately. There's a big actual, oh, look at that. Sweet was going to walk away. Now, are they too low? Looks like the Agony's Embrace coming down, but they don't have the speed to catch anyone oh. else. And a flash from the Boomerang Blade. Smiting my Raptor buff. GBM with the wraparound gank not spotted out at all. And he's going to oh charge boy. up that passive as well. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, no. And Soul actually hops forward. It couldn't come at a worse time. Now he discovers, hey, there's a rise in my lane, and he's got Ghost. Soul going to do what he can, but no one's even near a wall, and he doesn't even hit GBM. GBM just de destroys him. So is Spenu going to get a dragon? But frankly, I don't think Jin Air actually cares. That kill under rise is so valuable in the early game. Anything to power up the stacking items is massive for Jin Air. Back in uncontested, although Jeanette poking around afterwards, there's the engage. Uh, trying to cut off catch, it's not really going to work though. And a quick gravity field. I think they're still going for it. Trace actually going to follow up all the way onto catch. They see the catch is low, explosive cast goes through. There's the Agony's Embrace, but I don't know if Jin Air really wants this fight. Trace still there. I mean, GBM is not here at all. They're opting into a 5v4. There's the Nar teleport. Now he's only in mini Nar form, but it's coming in quick. Wow, I have no idea uh, why you would take that fight if you are Jin Air. So completely couldn't decide between which threat is probably going to take down Chaser, waiting for one more auto attack. Yes, gets the kill. Oh. Flank wall, it's a very deep pink wall. Ooh, Chaser has spotted. great positioning right now. If the rest of his team can follow up, are they going to pull the trigger? He is just hiding in a black spot. And here we go. Agony's Embrace not really going to hit anybody, actually. Trace there with the TP on the outside. GPF, he's going to start doing work. But look at that. Sweet falls down nearly immediately. GPF is killed. And that may be it, actually, as we do see. Oh, very low. Sassen still chasing Trace on the outside. G the tree gets a double kill. Pilot there. Wow, that was incredibly close for Jin Air as they botched their engage just a little bit. Can they come around and get this dragon? They're taking some decent damage, and Sasan wants to poke them out with that death ray. Waiting to see if they'll finish up. Pilot's still close to full health. Thousand health and dragon. The TP. teleport comes through. They're gonna look for some kills at least. Yeah, Soul comes back around. Trace is just going to give his life right now. He no longer has the flash. That's what they like to do. GBM was looking for the brush flank. He's looking for Fank, but now he's caught with his pants down. There's lots of members coming. Doesn't he missed matter how two much cues. He has. And there you go. Knocked around. GBM is just going to get blown up as there was another instance of Jin Air being isolated. Trace tries to be the hero, but I don't think he's going to live. Chaos Storm still ticking away. Trace goes down. It looks like Spenu could just bear in off of that. I have no idea what GBM was doing there. 
coupled with a Guardian Angel. Secret has it all. Oh, Sweet gets knocked out. He's going to get picked. There he goes. He dies. And that might be the end of the game. Now we see Soul coming in. Only gets Trace with his ultimate. Soul actually eating a lot of damage for the Rise. Catching the front line right now. And Nuclear trying to do some work. There's the Chaos Storm going down. They want to get Chaser. Trace going to dodge that Death Ray. GBM almost untouched, but he's taking a lot of damage from Nuclear. Here we go. And they're going to get GBM. And that is two for none in the end and this is almost certainly going to be the final push as soul is going to tp on top of tibbers can they get the necessary damage down pilot is still alive Benu fans Holy are screaming cow. their lungs out and they're gonna try and finish desperately. There's still three threats up. There still are. Sasin is very low. Chaser wants to get in, but he's going to get stopped and Pilot dies. Nuclear and Soul on top of him. Trace, he's trying to get the low members and there is GBM on your screen right now. And this is going to be the first win for Spenu Sonic Boom on the season against all odds when there is nothing for them on the line. They will take out Jin Air and maybe, just maybe, spoil Jin Air's chance at playoffs and the world championship. Jin Air had everything on the line, Monte Cristo. They wanted to pick up the 2 0 win, to keep it up there with Najin, to keep it up there with CJ Angels. They dropped one game, and that already put a single arrow through their hearts. But man, they've got nothing left now. Wow, that is such an impressive upset. You can see Sassen on your screen right now. Sassen face means something very <laughs> different now, Monte Cristo. That man is happy. That man is happy.